men who are not available, men who are abusive. And this cycle keeps going around and around. And then we want to do therapy to fix it. But we don't know where it came from. Well, you can't fix something if you don't know the root cause of it. Because you keep going fixing things, but you don't know what's, where it's really coming from. It's like our modern medicine. When you have thyroid issue and you go to the modern Western medicine, they give you medication for your thyroid to cover the symptom. But they're not looking for the root of it. Why is the body malfunctioning? What caused the body to malfunction so the thyroid is not producing the proper hormones or secretes correctly? What's the, why, why is it malfunctioning? Is it food related? Is it gut related? Why, where is it, what's, what is it related to? So now you're going to be hooked on thyroid medication for the rest of your life to keep it balanced. And the same thing here. We go to do therapy because of our sense of abandonment, but we don't know what caused it. So we're trying to fix that, but you can never fix it. Or we're going to change the next to the next partner, the next man, the next woman. But they can't fix it until you go to the roots. So, I hope this is making sense so far, and you're getting an idea, you're getting a picture. I want you to take your time later on and just to kind of contemplate that It will give you an, a better idea why men behave the way they behave or why women behave the way they behave. Where, where is this coming from? So now we go to this other part. I'm four years old, five years old, six years old, whatever, and this is another um, association imprints that upon entrance into this world in the realm of love, partnership, self-love, that we have this misconception and we're not aware of it, completely unaware of what is going on. And we run around around the world in our life, spending our entire life trying to find a partner, trying to find love, trying to be accepted, and completely not being aware of what has happened, completely unaware of it and keep going through all these different things, books about relationships, of how to have a healthy relationship, how to find your, your man, your woman, how to find love, how to stay, have a healthy relationship in your marriage or your partnership, yet again you don't know where the root cause, where the damage is coming, where, where it was done, what's the problem, where is the problem? 
Now I'm going to explain this. I'm going to get into this. When you're very little, what happens is that, for example, uh, I'll use myself. Um, I had nannies, I had my aunts, my mom, I had a lot of people around me when I was growing up. And I remember, for example, when I, it, uh, my nanny or my, my mom would tell my daddy, oh, look at Zaratustra, he's been a very good boy. Zaratustra, he, he ate his, his uh, vitamins, he ate his spaghetti, and uh, he, he's been a very good boy. Yeah? Don't, don't parents talk about a child in front of the child to each other like that? Like they're encouraging the child that he or she's been good and uh, accomplished things. Now daddy says, oh my, oh what a good boy, come over here, put, sit on my lap, I love you. Uh, mommy says, yeah, he's been, Johnny's been very good and he did all of his homework. So now dad is just, you know, rubbing your cheek or kissing you or hugging you. This is starting from the very beginning, okay? From the time you start to have some kind of uh, understanding or dialogue with your parents. And so pay attention to this part. This is really important. Okay, this is how things start to happen. And it's got a domino effect. So what happens is that you start to learn that if you do something that your parents approve of, then you're going to get their affection and their love. So you go to school and you get a good grade. You've been getting good grades. So you're doing positive. And then your teachers are praising you and they're putting you up. You're being a good athlete and you know you throw the last touchdown or you shoot the last goal and you win and the school puts you up and you become a hero if you're a hero then you get the trophy what do you get you get the trophy girl you're a guy what about these movies all these movies that the guy he makes the last score or he threw, throws the last basket and and the school wins, and what does he get? He gets the trophy girl. So for accomplishing something right that society approves of, then you're going to get rewarded. So let's rewind the tape. Let's go back to the kids. So pay attention. How do you dialogue with your kids? How do you deal with them? When, are you, when you were a kid, so... You constantly want to do something right, so dad loves you, mom loves you, they approve you, they accept you. And so what about when you do something wrong? So let's say you're six, seven years old and your brother is nine years old, ten years old, whatever. Your parents going to go out to dinner, you know, they leave you together at home. Maybe one is nine, the other one is 13, whatever is the story. And there's no babysitter. They leave you at home. They go eat something, they're going to come back quickly. And you have spaghetti and you throw spaghetti all over. You got white couches, white uh, carpet, and, and you put tomato sauce all over and ketchup all over the place and your parents come back home, what do you think is going to happen for this behavior? Do you think they're going to hug you and love you and kiss you and buy you a toy, or are you going to get slapped on your hand? 